Good evening. My name is Monet, Monet Oliver de Place, and I'm here from Billionaires for Bush, and this is the Big Business Minute. Bankruptcy. It was once the last resort for Americans, a way out of crushing debt when all else failed. Well, thank my God and my billfold that those days are over. Today, bankruptcy has become, as my pal Donald Trump once bragged, a creative accounting tool for us billionaires. But we still must hold some people accountable. And if not us, then who? Well, Congress is working to give us that answer next week in Washington, when the House votes to send the bankruptcy bill to President Bush's desk. Standing by to fill us in is our very own Ivy League legacy on the deck of her new yacht, the SS Write-Off. Ivy, good day. Ahoy there, Monet. Ivy, our credit card companies have brought this legislation to Congress at least once before. It was always rejected. What's different now? It's simple, Monet. Fairness is so 1990s. Haven't you heard? We're in charge of all three branches of government now. In 2001, Ken Lay and our energy companies wrote energy policy that upped their profits at the public's expense. It's only fair that our banks get to write the new bankruptcy policies. I heard that some empathetic politicians tried to make the bill more fair by attempting to add some last-minute amendments. Can you tell us about these attempts? Well, don't worry. Our Republican allies were able to stop all of them. Silly attempts to protect veterans of the elderly and medical sufferers from usury interest rates, means testing, and predatory lending practices. Ivy, if I may interrupt, medical sufferers? I'm not a heartless guy. Why go after them? Oh, Monet, we're not kicking them out of their homes yet. We're just holding them to rigid payment plans with high interest rates that stretch out for years. It's not our fault they're sick. Well, that's true. But with all this tough talk about the responsibility of all Americans to pay back what they owe, what can you tell our fellow billionaires who plan to file for bankruptcy and are worried they may have to give up their assets? Are there any exceptions? Just one, Monet, a little-known loophole called the Asset Trust Protection Clause, which allows the super-rich and their corporations to hide their assets in offshore accounts where creditors can't touch them. Here's an example. I filed for bankruptcy last year and wrote off almost as much as the Donald's $1.3 billion casino debt, but all of my money is in an offshore trust. And this yacht? This pretty baby's registered in Nevis. Pretty clever, n'est-ce pas? Nevis? I never heard of that one. Where is that? About 200 miles south of Puerto Rico. Well, how big is that island? Oh, about seven miles long, five miles wide. <laughs> well, that seems rather small. Don't worry. Their banks are big enough. <laughs> But what if average Americans set up offshore trusts? Don't be silly, Monet. They can't afford the cost of setting up such a scheme. In fact, the new law gives our banks even more power to go after the non-billionaire Americans, making sure they pay back all they owe with all that wonderful interest. Is there any chance this bill can fail? Well, President Bush is waiting to sign it. Let's hope the American people don't call or write their local representative demanding they vote no on this bill when it comes to the floor the week of April 10th. Well, let's keep our fingers crossed. With this victory, our credit card companies must feel empowered. Any other plans? We're writing a new bill to bring back debtors' prisons. Remember, interest compounded will never be defeated. Monet? Of course. Thank you, Ivy. Well, that does it for another edition of the Big Business Minute. Join us next week as we go undercover and follow Donald Rumsfeld's never-ending quest to root out all human decency in the Pentagon. I'm Monet Oliver de Place from Billionaires for Bush, reminding you that we're all in this together. Sort of. Good night.